Welcome to the Virtuous Woman of Today podcast. I'm your host, Diana Bryan. Here, we uncover what it takes to become the virtuous woman of Proverbs 31 in our generation. We discuss the tools and the puzzle pieces to get there. The virtuous woman is not a myth, and you can be her too. You were called and are destined to be the virtuous woman of today. Are you ready? Hello, my beautiful ladies, and welcome to another episode of our podcast, The Virtuous Woman of Today. I'm your host, Diana Bryant, and today we're going to be learning six steps that will set you up to have a successful week. Now, a few weeks ago, we learned how to be productive, how to have productive days like the virtuous woman of Proverbs 31 had. And today we're going to be focusing on the week because it is important that we understand that a day that you are productive, if you have consecutive days like that, you're going to end up having a productive and successful week. And if you have successful weeks, you will have successful months. And if you have successful months, you will have successful years and so on and so forth. So it's important that we understand that if we are able to plan correctly our week, we are going to be able to have that successful week and we will be able to achieve everything God is calling us to do. So I hope and I pray that these seven steps will help you like it has helped me. This is something I do every single week and it helps me have an amazing successful week week after week. So the first step that you need to do is to learn and create the habit of reviewing your last week. It is important that you look back on the past week, that you celebrate your victories, and that you identify the areas of improvements. What worked? What didn't work? What can you adjust? Are your weeks and your days aligned to what God is calling you to do? So it's important that you reflect on that week because those wins or those losses that you have on that week will help you have an even better week, the week that you're planning right now. So make sure you create a habit of reviewing your previous week. Now, step number two is to check your goals. Make sure you reconnect with your goals. We were talking last week about finding our passion. And when we find our passion, we find what goals the Lord has laid out for us, for us to accomplish, for us to do that goes aligned with our values, our mission. And it is important that you stay connected to those goals. It is important that you always check on those goals to make sure you're aligned with God and that you're aligned to what God is calling you to do. And these goals are the ones that are going to help you achieve everything that you have in your vision, everything that you have on your vision board. That's Those goals are the ones that are going to lead you there. So make sure you're always checking your goals. Make sure you are aligned to them. But before that, that you're aligned to God. So you are on the right path. Okay, the step three that you need to take is to review upcoming events. So make sure you take a look at your upcoming week what appointments you have, what deadlines or what events, what doctor appointments, whatever it is, and that you prepare ahead of time for them. Adjust your plans accordingly. So make sure you have your calendar up to date with everything you have to do to make sure you don't miss any of those important appointments and make sure you're present in the loop, in the places that you need to be pl- present. So make sure you are reviewing your upcoming events, make sure you're blocking your calendar, you're setting up reminders, and also will help you have a better understanding of how your week looks like and what how much freedom you're going to have to do other things or other tasks that you need to get done. So make sure you always review your upcoming events. Step number four is to plan your big three. And what I mean by this is you need to decide on a weekly basis what is the big three things that you need to accomplish on that week. Now, these are the top three priorities that you want to focus on this week. And if you remember on a few episodes before, we were talking about how to have a productive day. And in there, I taught you how to pick five things that you're going to be doing on that particular day. And those five things are going to be aligned to these three big things that you want to accomplish this week. So make sure when you are um, thinking about the three big things you want to accomplish this week, we were talking in that episode as well about a big elephant, that you break down that elephant. Is this big task or this big goal that you want to accomplish this week? Well, let's break it down into 
manageable five things that I can do every day during this week to accomplish these three big things that I want to accomplish. So make sure you identify where those big three things are and you start planning accordingly. So if you have a focus and you start a week very focused, you're going to be able to find those five things easily every night when you're planning the following day. Now, step number five is basically talking about the episode we talked about a couple of weeks ago about how to have a successful or, or a very productive day. And it is to actually schedule your tasks. Now it's time to for you to every night uh, start evaluating what you're going to be doing the following day and you're going to schedule those tasks. You're going to say this day I'm going to be doing this and this other day I'm going to be doing that. And when you plan it that, that way, you're going to be able to make it easier for you to accomplish big tasks and a small task and make sure nothing is falling through the cracks. So make sure you're scheduling those tasks. Now, the final step is to reflect and adjust. Now, I understand, ladies, and this happens to me, life happens, right? We can plan all we want, but sometimes plans or life has a different plan for us. So it is important that we reflect and we adjust according to what is happening. And we do this on a daily basis. Every night you spend some time reflecting on how the week is going and where is heading and what things you need to adjust according to things that can that could happen so this is very important to keep in mind and i'm not talking about those procrastinations that we have allowed to happen or those excuses that we're allowing to happen because those things all he's doing is creating bad habits in our life so I'm talking about things that we didn't expect to happen. For example, we got sick or we had to uh, go to a doctor's appointment that finally opened up or an important phone call came in and more work was laid on our desk. Things like that, that we didn't expect, that we didn't have control on. Those are the things that we need to reflect and then adjust. But anything that is under your own control you are responsible to make it happen. Nobody's going to do it for you. Nobody, not even God, can lead you. He can lead you, but he cannot force you to take the steps that he's showing you for you to get to the place he wants you to go at. That's something only you can do. Your husband, your children, nobody can do it for you. So it's your responsibility to take action and to take those steps that God is giving you. So anything that is under your control you're going to reflect on what you can do better to stop procrastinating. You can listen to the episode I recorded last week, which is talking about passion. If you have a passion, you will be able to achieve those goals. So make sure you're aligned to that passion that God has placed in you. Or if you need to adjust because something unexpected happened. So that's something you need to reflect on. But it's something that you will do every night to make sure things are going on track and that you're heading on the right place that you need to head out to have a successful week. Now, my beautiful ladies, for this week, I'm going to ask you to take action and is to plan your next week. Now, I don't know when you're listening to this podcast. Usually I post it every Monday. And if you're listening to it on a Monday, on a Wednesday or a Sunday, it's never too late to plan your week. So your homework is to sit down for 30 minutes and block that time and plan your week following these steps and making sure you are creating a habit to do it every Sunday. It takes you 30 minutes once again to sit down, plan your week every single Sunday and that's going to lead you and set you up to have a successful week. And it takes five minutes every night to plan the following day where you're going to select those five tasks that are going to help you accomplish those three big goals you have for the week. So make sure you start doing this. You create that amazing habit in your life. I did it myself. I implemented and I have amazing results. That's why I wanted to share these tools with you. Now, many of you are asking me where you can get a copy of my book, The Virtuous Woman of Today. You can visit dianabryan.com and then go to a store and you will be able to find all the tools, all the resources the Lord has created 
to help you become everything God has called you to be. So make sure you visit that website and that being all my love, always remember that you are the virtuous woman of today and that you were created and you are designed to become everything that God has called you to be. I'll see you next week.